Okay, continuing on today with our Laplace transform playlist, we have here another differential equation. I just want to do one non-homogeneous case. Notice we don't have a zero here now. We've got e to the 3t. So for this one, we've got y double prime plus 4y prime minus 45y equal to e to the 3t. Like we've done in previous videos, we just want to take the Laplace transform on both sides of this. So now when I do this, I'm going to split this up on the plus and minus sign here. So writing this out, we're going to have Laplace y double prime plus, I'll bring a four out front of this and we'll have Laplace of y prime. Then I'll bring minus 45 in front and we'll just have Laplace of y. And this here is gonna be the Laplace transform of e to the three t. Okay, now for this and this, we'll use these formulas we have over here to the right that we derived in other videos. So we'll just plug everything in. So this is gonna give me here, this is gonna be s squared big y of s minus S, y of zero though is zero, so I'm gonna leave this term off. And I got this wrong here, this is supposed to be y single prime. So here's our y single prime at zero. So that value is just one. So we're gonna have a minus one here, plus four times this formula, four s, big y of s, plus four times our y of zero, but that's just zero. So we put our y of zero is just zero, so we'll leave off that term. Then we're gonna have just minus 45, big y of s. And then here on the right side, we'll just use the formula for this. The Laplace of e to the at is one over s minus a. And here our a is gonna be three, so this is just gonna be s minus three. So now in order to try to isolate y, what we're gonna do is we just wanna factor out the big y to isolate that first to set up an inverse Laplace transform. So let me, let me factor that out. We'll factor out the big y of s on all these. And this is gonna be s squared uh, plus four s here. And then we're gonna have minus 45. And then for this minus one, I'll just add a plus one here and plus one here, so that goes away. But now when I rewrite this here, what I'll do is get a common denominator. So I'll write this as one over s minus three. And then for the one here, we'll write it as s minus three over s minus three. But now what I can do here is actually factor this thing. So what I'll do for this is we'll write it as s plus nine, I think, times s minus five on the left side. And then here we'll have this common denominator, s minus three, Adding the numerator, we're gonna have an s, one minus three, and this is gonna give me minus two here. But what I can do is divide this off on both sides. So we'll divide by s plus nine, s minus five, and do the same thing here, s plus nine, s minus five. Everything here is gonna cancel. And so now all I need to do to isolate y is just take the Laplace inverse on both sides of this, because what's gonna happen this here, this big y of s is just the Laplace of y. So like this cancels, and now we've isolated our y. And so all we need to do is find the Laplace inverse of this thing right here. Let me write it all out. But now for this, I don't really have a nice formula for this, but what I can do is split it up using partial fractions. So let me just clean up the board and we'll do some partial fractions. Okay, now we have our partial fractions set up down here at the bottom. We just need to solve for these three constants, a, b, and c. What I'll do is use the cover up method for this. So starting here, I'll take a three and plug it in here, cover this up. We'll cover this up so we're not dividing by zero, but then we need to plug in the three everywhere else. So plugging in the numerator, we're gonna have three minus two, so that's gonna give me one in the numerator here. Then here, three plus nine is 12. Three minus five is minus two. This is gonna give me minus 24. Then for our B value associated with S plus nine, I just need to plug in minus nine here. Plug it into the numerator, we have a minus 11 there. Plugging minus nine here, we have minus 12 times minus 14. That's gonna give me a positive 168. And then for our C value, we wanna plug a five in to make this zero. So we plug the five in, cover this up, plug the five in everywhere else. Five minus two gives me a three in the numerator. Five minus three here is two, times five plus nine is 14, two times 14, 28. So let me just take this, plug it back in, and we'll continue. Okay, so now we have everything copied over. What I really wanna do is, I wanna split this up into three different Laplace inverses. And I have all these constants in the number, I'm just gonna factor those out. So let's see how I'm gonna do it. So let's just rewrite this. We'll pull out, first we'll pull out the minus one over 24 here, and we'll look at the Laplace inverse of one over S minus three. And then we'll do the same thing here, minus 11 over 68, Laplace inverse one over S plus nine. Then here we'll take out the three over 28, and we'll have Laplace inverse one over S minus five. But now for each of these inverses, we've got a nice formula down here. We're just gonna use this in reverse, right? If I take the Laplace inverse on both sides here, take the Laplace inverse here, this is gonna cancel out and we're just left with this e to the at. 
So like here, our a is gonna be three, here it's gonna be minus nine, here it's gonna be five. So I really just need to plug that back in here in order to finish this off. So let's see what we have. We're gonna have minus one over 24, then we'll have e to the three t, then we're gonna have minus 11 over 68, e to the minus nine t, and then we'll have three over 28, e to the five t. Just circle it and that's it. There you have a second order non-homogeneous differential equation with Laplace transforms. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.